And I was sitting there and I was like, okay, me and the ball and a home plate and I had a point. And then as I went to throw the ball, whoo, like the touchdown was way over there. Wait. <laughs> Touchdown. Wait a second. One of them. Which one has a touchdown? Football. Football has touchdowns. Oh, and this one was baseball. The dude with the fingers and the and the hat and the mask. That was that's baseball, right? Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be testing out some newly released makeup. And going into this video, I wasn't so much focused on having something for every step of the routine. I would say that I was more focused on getting the products in here that you guys were really curious about. And so I think we definitely have a pretty good, a pretty eclectic mix. And just to run through a few of the things that we're going to be having in today's video, I did pick up the Kendall and Kylie Cosmetics collab. I have the new Naked um, Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette. I have the new collab. This was actually sent to me in PR. This is from Ofra and Jen Loves Reviews. It is the Metamorphosis Lipstick Collection. And I, guys, this one, <laughs> this one makes me really excited. So we're definitely going to be spending a minute here. And then I also have the new Jouer Champagne and Macarons Sweet Cheeks Face Palette, the balms, the gloss from them as well. And then of course there are a couple of other products as well. But before we get going too far into this video, I want to just stop really quickly and introduce myself. For those of you that are new here, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And thank you so much for taking the time to be here for hanging out with me. Um, I really hope that you enjoy it. Again, if you're new to the channel, I hope that you want to stick around, subscribe. I do normally put up three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They go up around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. For those of you that have been around for a hot second, you know that last month and this month now are a little bit crazy with everything that's going on in my personal life. We had just a few outstanding situations to say the least. But anyways, please feel free, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, hang out for a while down in the comments, whatever you would like to do, I would greatly appreciate it. And then for those of you that would like to see me more outside of YouTube, I would love it if you check me out over on Instagram and on Twitter. They will both be linked down below. I am way more active over on Instagram, but like <laughs> truthfully, it's it's my absolute favorite. I love Instagram. I love the day-to-day -day Insta stories. I love IGTV videos, which is like a makeup application type thing, which I love doing those. I love taking makeup like pictures and plus size fashion pictures and just the whole gamut. I feel like my, my life, like my day-to-day -day world is over there. And I would just, I'd love it. If you guys want to check it out, if that's your thing, please feel free. Again, they will both be linked down below. But anyways, let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom the camera in and let's get started, you guys. Let's get started. All right, beautiful people. So we're good. We're zoomed in. And based on what I can't see, <laughs> because without my glasses, blind as a bat, but uh, the, the monitor looks pretty good. I think the lighting is is, I mean, <laughs> it's there. So we're just, we're gonna roll with it. Hope everything looks okay. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I don't have something for every single step. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buzz through the first few. I'm gonna prime with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. And then once I've let that dry down for just a second, I'm gonna go in with my Catrice HD Liquid Full Coverage. This is one of my absolute favorite, favorite foundations in the world. It has beautiful coverage. It blends amazingly. And it just, it, it works so well, especially for summer, because it, it just settles beautifully onto the skin. And then for concealer, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Porcelain Beige. And I'm gonna blend this all over the face, primarily under the eyes and through the T-zone, just to help shape everything out a little bit. And then just to set down the under eyes and the T-zone, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Fair. And that will just secure those areas, and then we can still move on to sculpting out the face. Okay, so now that the base makeup is on, let's go ahead and start moving through some of these products. These are from the Kendall and Kylie collection. And these ones right here are actually the face shaping options. They're all cream base. And there is a cream blush, a cream bronzer, and a cream highlight, which I already did go ahead and swatch on my hand. We have the cream blush, the cream highlight, and the cream bronzer. And that bronzer is so unbelievably cool. I don't know how it comes across on camera. But like, I thought it was gonna be more of like a brown type undertone, like a bronzy undertone. And that is so cool toned. Like I am, I am nervous. We're gonna be going very, very light with her. But uh, this is the entire collection. What the hell is this? You guys see that? Is my, oh my God. <laughs> Guys, that's my tan line. Holy shit. <laughs> that's so good, you guys. I am. <laughs> Oh, wow. Just for the record, when I thought like I was trying to rub it, I thought I had like white translucent powder, like I dunked my hand in something. That's what I thought that was, so. <laughs> That's really great. Anyways, let's go ahead here with the sculpting stick. Again, this is in the shade Act Natural. And I'm gonna use a very small amount of it just because it is so cool toned. And I'm just gonna blend that in with a sponge like I normally would. This is my preferred method when it comes to anything like cream bronzer, cream highlight, anything like that. 
and we're just gonna take and really, really buff it in. And because this is on the cooler side, I am gonna be keeping it closer, like back toward the hairline, because instead of it being like bronzer and something that's really gonna add warmth to the face, it's more so going to be a sculpting type shade. And those are the type of shades that I do just prefer to tuck back a little bit farther. I think what's throwing me off with this, because like, if you look at it, I mean, I'm looking in the monitor, obviously you guys are just looking at, you know, what, what you're seeing, but I think it looks good, like it's blending good. It has good creamy consistency. All of them did even when I swatched them. So it isn't an issue of like the product itself. It's more so I'm just not used to like seeing it on my face because I never really have been like a big contour type person. I was always just a bronzer and go kind of girl <laughs> because for me contour just it took more time and I was just like ain't nobody got time for that. Now I do know that uh, obviously this shade isn't going to be something that works for everyone and neither is the undertone but if you are wanting to check out um, some other options I want to say it was like maybe a week after she launched this collection with her sister then Kylie came out with a whole arrangement or like a whole array of um of bronzing sticks so if you want to check them out definitely something you could probably do now on her website now from here we're going to go over into the cream blush this is the shade runway we're just going to pop a little bit of that this is like my favorite tone for a blush oh my god it's like a mauvey like a dusty mauvey pink kind of color and i just love these kinds of shades and also did you see like how easy that just blended it took like 0.2 seconds and i feel like it blended out just oh my god so effortless and then lastly we're gonna throw a little bit of the shade spotlight right up on the ooh, ooh, that's pretty um right up on the upper cheekbones here on both sides that's really pretty really quickly i just have to mention it because for those of you that are newer here you might not know this but the color pop blush and highlight sticks are one of my favorite makeup items of all time um this one right here is a blush stick it's in the shade under pressure and i swatched it right here and these are just they're so good they're very blendable super user friendly and the payoff on them and like how they apply to the skin for how much they cost is amazing and in the Cosmetics world, a lot of people consider Kylie Cosmetics just overpriced ColourPop. And so I wanted to wait until I had used and, you know, obviously applied all three bronzer, blush, and highlight from this collection just to see, you know, kind of how it compared to a formula that I'm very, very used to using. And at this point, I would say with a fair amount of certainty that these are the exact, if not a very, very close replica to the ColourPop formula. If you were looking at these and you wanted to test them out, maybe you want to save a little coin, maybe you're not sure just in general. If you're gonna like them, I would definitely, definitely suggest going the ColourPop route. But don't get me wrong, if you're someone that you want to just support the brand, you stand Kylie, Kendall, whatever, that's totally on you and you can definitely go that route. But just in case there was somebody else out there wondering if the formula is consistent, if it's the same, maybe these are a little cheaper, maybe these are out of stock, whatever, I just want you to know that there is another option. And again, the one from ColourPop is fantastic. So just throwing it out there, beautiful, beautiful, let's move on. Okay, now really quick, just to save on some time, I'm gonna take some of my Maybelline Fit Me. This is an 05 Fair. We're going to set the T-zone with that, then go ahead and set the rest of the face with the Too Faced Born This Way powder. This is in the shade Cloud. And then I'm going to go ahead as well and throw on some brows. I have the Benefit Precisely My Brow. This is in the shade 3.5 and the Gimme Brow Gel, which is in the shade 4.5. And both of those were sent to me in PR, but like truthfully, <laughs> they're all I use. I love them. I love the consistency. And the colors of both of these, the way they work together, on my brows has just been so so spot on for me lately so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that done and then we're gonna get into eyeshadow all right guys so I'm back and the rest of that stuff is on my face and my lips are busty and crusty so I'm taking off the dried on foundation and I'm gonna go in with one of the Jouer lip balms here there were two different shades this one is the shade what is this amaryllis and it looks more of like oh yes it's like a light kind of neutral brown oh I love that I hope you guys can see that on camera that is beautiful let me let me just make this watch half the size of my hand oh my god that's gorgeous okay so there's one shade and then the other shade is champagne kiss and this one just looks more like a um, clear but with glitter in it. Oh, it is. Oh, that's super pretty. <gasps> oh, I love these both. Okay, let's go ahead. You know what? Just for argument's sake here, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this one first might help might help if I rolled it up a little okay so first thing that is so unbelievably soft like the texture of the lip balm itself is so nice it's so light oh yes mm-hmm 
big time, big time like the formula. That one right there by itself, again, that's the shade Amaryllis. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of the other one on top of it because this is, this is just where we're at in my chapstick game. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this one, again, the shinier one. Oh my gosh, you guys, how pretty is that? Like those look like I paired together two lipsticks. They're so nice and there's just enough color in the Amaryllis shade just to give it like a light, light little medium coverage moment on the lips. I really like those. Like, Consistency is beautiful. And while we're here, let's go ahead and finish off with this Jouer palette. Look at how pretty that is. Like the overall collection just has so much sophistication to it. I really love this. I love the graphics on it. It's super pretty. But anyways, this is the face palette. It has a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlight right here. And of the two blushes, one of them has a little shimmer. The other one is matte. So you're quite literally getting a little bit of everything, which is what I really liked about this. And again, just aesthetically speaking, I'm obsessed. To start off, I'm gonna go in with the shade Suntan, which is bronzer, and I'm gonna take that on a Scott Barnes 68. I had to switch out the brush. That other one was a little bit too stiff for me for this part of uh, like the buffing in process. But I'm just going to take and run that. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to take it just along that curvature right there of my cheekbone right through. I do like to add just a little bronzer down here to like the Dorito Cheeto Cupcake Nation that I've got kind of growing under my face. Hello. When it comes to like bronzing this area, I don't like to necessarily like throw a lot of bronzer down there because I always feel like, and, and again, I don't know if this is just a me thing. I feel like a lot of things when I say them, everybody's like, no Paige, <laughs> you're on your own for that one. But like when I put bronzer down there, yes, it looks good. Like on camera, it's good. It creates that shadow. I like that. But when I go like this, I feel like <laughs> it's all you see. And like I said, I don't know if that's just a me thing or not. You guys can tell me down below, okay? <laughs> and I'm sure you will. Um, but yeah, just it's just one of those things where I feel like I can see it. Like, and like I just, and then I see like this random brown strip and it looks like I just took the chocolate bar and just like got lost. And I got news for you, bitch ain't gonna lose a chocolate bar, okay? I know right where that goes, right here, okay? <laughs> I'm not about losing my chocolate. You guys know what the worst part about that whole conversation is? <laughs> Other than the fact that I said it all out loud. The worst part is that I swear to you, it started this way, right? Like I, I had a full conversation. She was going to home plate. I was getting it towards the toward the dude, the batter, the, this guy right here, right, okay? There's the guy with the bat, ping, and then there's the guy behind him that does this on the ground, and he's like, ping, pong, ping, pong, ping, pong, and he like does all the, you know, the, the peace signs and the flashers or whatever they do back there, and I was sitting there, and I was like, okay, me and the ball in a home plate, and I had a point, and then as I went to throw the ball, whoo, like the touchdown was way over there, wait, <laughs> touchdown. I feel like I mixed a metaphor. Wait a second, one of them, which one has a touchdown? Football, football has touchdowns. Oh, and this one was baseball. The dude with the fingers and the and the hat and the mask. That was, that's baseball, right? Yeah, baseball, not soccer. No, soccer is just a big net. Oh my God, Paige. <laughs> Paige, maybe we should talk about the stuff in the palette and maybe you should stop pretending like you, ooh, I like those. Maybe you should stop pretending like you know anything about sports because like truly, it's embarrassing. Also, I've been doing swatches for what, almost four years on YouTube at this point and yet here I sit and uh, you, you still can barely see them. But these are both of the blushes right here. We have more of a corally pink then we have kind of like a Barbie hot pink situation. This is the bronzer and then for some reason, you can't see the highlight on camera, which is kind of driving me crazy, but you know, you, you guys will see it in a second when I actually when I actually apply it. But uh, this is the blush palette right here. And I think what I wanna do is go in with one blush on each cheek. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off first here with my um, soft touch blush brush. This is from It Cosmetics. And I'm gonna start off with a little bit of Romance Me here. This is the Coral Pink Matte Shade. And we're just gonna take a little bit of that and kind of fluff it ever so gently onto the little shakers, onto the shakers. Oh, I love the shakers, I love the little shakers. What just happened? <laughs> Wait, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Guys, I think I need to get some more sleep. <laughs> okay, so here's that shade by itself. It's just a nice baseline, light little coral pink. I think it stands out just enough, but it also builds up. Um, you can make it a little bit more punchy and a little poppy if you wanna go that route but it's really pretty, again, matte finish. And you know what, now that I'm looking at it, the shade Delight Me does have a lot more shimmer to it than I had anticipated. So I think what I'm gonna do, instead of doing it by itself, I'm gonna throw a little bit on top of this side. Okay, so I know you guys can't see this on camera, and thank God, um, but that shade by itself, the shade Delight Me, it is so, so shimmery. Like if I had went in, 
all and just done the whole cheek with that shade it would be a catastrophe um I, well i shouldn't say that it wouldn't be a catastrophe i'm just i'm a little dramatic but for me i just don't really like having that much shimmer as just a straight blush i prefer it as like a topper but not as a straight blush so i am going to do the same thing on the other side and just more so mix both of the colors because mixed together they are really nice and it kind of helps bring down the shine factor from that um, shimmery blush situation but my god that that matte shade is just so sophisticated okay and then really quickly i just went ahead and sprayed my face with a little bit of the morphe continuous setting spray and that is just to get everything settled down before i go in with highlight which of course is this shade right here it is the shade citrine to apply this i'm going in with a scott barnes number 66 brush and let's go ahead and start over here and just oh 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 okay wow she's she's got a little bit of bright future ahead of her now doesn't she i feel like the color citrine my god is that beautiful can you guys see how pretty that is oh like it's truly blinding right like i'm not alone on this one damn um I, but i feel like the shade citrine the the shade that i'm using for a highlight that i don't think that that's new to jouer i feel like that's a color that they've had before that they've had in their collection because if memory serves, like I, I ended up getting a pack and it had like six of their highlight shades in it. And I feel like Citrine was a shade that they've had before. So maybe, maybe this is just like an all-in-one face palette of shades that they've already released. And maybe it's not like new shades. Don't get me wrong. I personally don't care because I love face palettes like this. They're good. They're quick and easy to use. And I mean, in a situation like this, they just look gorgeous. That is... God, that is just beautiful. Like the color, the undertone, it has a beautiful silky texture. It like melts right into my skin. Oh my God, I love that. Before I get going into this here, let's just go ahead real quick like and change the battery because we all know the battery is gonna die. It's gonna die when I need it to not die the most. Okay, okay. All right guys, so we're good. I'm zooming myself in and by zooming myself in, I mean <laughs> scooching my chair about four feet closer to the camera. And now it is time to get into this palette and oh my God, I am so, <laughs> I'm so excited as you can tell like the level of excitement is so real over here. You know what kills me the most is that, oh my God, this packaging, this, this packaging kills me the most. Look at you, <gasps> you sexy bitch, you. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. You guys, this is beautiful. But anyways, back to what I was saying. You know what kills me the most about this launch is that I honestly feel like I am like one of the only people that's excited about it. And I just, I can't help myself. Also, ain't what? No, I don't got time for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Urban Decay brush, which actually, does that look better or is that the same ass brush that they always come with? Because I feel like this one almost looks nicer. This this end right here, like this fluffy, this fluffy end, maybe I'll give, okay, you know what, fine. Maybe I'll give you a chance today, but just don't bother me for right now because, oh my God, this is, this is so beautiful. Uh, but I just feel like this is so, like it's adorable. And yes, you know, it's got like the little pop of blue, which I am so about to touch. What is this? The shade Lucid. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's blue and it's shiny. Oh shit, it's bright. Okay, I did not expect that. Like, I got, truthfully, truthfully, okay, I kind of thought it was going to be a wimpy-ass little shade, but th <laughs> you are not wimpy, sir. You are beautiful. You deserve my love and my respect and my undying devotion, okay? But let me go ahead really quickly. I just want to wrap my thoughts on this color story, which I love that I'm doing before I've used it, but here are my, th here's my thing, because I feel like people have been both directions. Actually, you know what? Wait a second. <laughs> Why don't, <laughs> thinking here, why don't I go ahead and start applying it and we talk about it at the same time? Booyah. Okay, let's do that. Did I just say booyah? Wow, Paige. But let's go ahead really quickly and I'm going to prime the lids. This is just a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. And then just to set that down, mainly through like the crease and a little bit onto the lid, I'm going to take the shade Trippin. It's just a light bone colored shade. And I'm going to use this Urban Decay double-ended brush situation here. I'm just gonna lightly kind of fluff that through. But anyways, as I was saying before I so rudely interrupted myself here, um, what I really like about this palette is that it does have like the the two sides to it and it has all the, the fun but also the neutral aspect. And that's very much so like what I would gravitate towards on a day-to-day -day basis. Just because I, like I'm that type of person and, and I do this a lot, you've probably seen it again if you follow me over on Instagram. I really love like a, a more neutral eye like up top on the main lid. And then underneath I love to play 
around with like a bright pop of color, a bright liner, maybe some shimmer, um, hell, even glitter. Like if I'm feeling real zazzly, I'll throw a little bit of glitter on there and be like some sparkly ass lady. And I love it. Like I, I just love the the neutral aspect, but then pairing it with something a little a little bit more fun and sparkly. Um, dare I say it's because I'm a Libra, but it's just it's very much so my vibe. And so when I see a palette like this, I just feel like it's something where I can get all of that 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 kind of neutrality meets fun all in one palette. Also, same brush. I'm gonna take the shade Hacked right here, and I'm gonna run that through the crease, starting on the outer portion and lightly kind of pulling it through. But then to the flip side of it, there were a bunch of people that didn't like this palette, and I understand their side of it too because like a, a lot of people when they heard you know ultraviolet, look at the packaging, they're thinking this is gonna be like very purple, pink heavy. You know, it's gonna be a full vibe in in that direction. And then when you look at it and like only half of it, like only this part down here. Hey, my nails match. <laughs> How cute. Uh, but when you, sorry, but when you look at it and you know, you only see these shades right here that are really the story you you kind of envisioned. Like I could see why people, especially, you know, purple eyeshadow lovers, I can see why they would have been a little bit disappointed um, with the color story as well. So I just, I think so much of this palette is like very, very personal preference. Um, again, just depending on what you were expecting. Now from here, I'm a little bit mm, torn. Let's go ahead. Actually, I want to swatch a few of these shades. See, I just realized I haven't swatched any of the shades hardly in this palette. So maybe we should go ahead and do that. Um, let's start with these two. This is VR and dazed. Those are beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and throw them right here next to that, that green shimmery situation. Oh, those are really pretty. I think on camera, my God, that tan line for my watch, it just caught me off guard again. Um, which how have I not know? Oh, cause I'm always wearing a watch. Wow. Just ask myself, how have I not noticed that? Well, first of all, how often do you stare at your wrist? Second of all, aren't you always wearing, I don't know, a watch, like if you can't tell. Uh, but anyways, I think when I'm looking down at these like in person, they do look a little bit more attractive than they do on camera. For some reason on here, they just don't translate to be very awesome, but they are really, really pretty. I, I definitely like the shade VR. I feel like this one has kind of the best of both worlds. It gives you a light purple vibe, but it also has specks of that green shade right there in it. So it just gives you a little bit more flavor, which I really like. Okay, look at it swatched. That's absolutely beautiful. It's like a neon purple pink moment. That's beautiful. And then those are the other two shades. Ooh, y'all are making this difficult for me. I really, I gotta say, these shimmers are freaking beautiful looking. First off, I'm going to take a little bit of my glitter glue. This is my Too Faced glitter glue here. And I'm just going to throw this all over the mobile lid and I am going to bring it back a fair amount like onto the lid itself and then from there we're going to take the shade VR which has like this undertone like flakes in it but it also has like the brown neutral aspect as well and we're going to take that and just kind of pop it all over the lid and this is going to give us some of that neutral flavor but it's also going to give that that little hint of the mint green coming through as well. Then right on that inner portion, we're going to veil up some of that mint color. Oh, yes, we are. That color is everything. And then I'm just really lightly as well running that on the inner V. Oh, that's beautiful. I do feel like this mint green shade, which is lucid, it's definitely more of like a glitter topper. So I'm glad that I had the other shade down already, but that's beautiful. And then just on the outer V, just to add like a little bit more depth, I'm going to take the shade digital, which is this dark, almost like brown purple shade. And I'm going to take that. Maybe it's like a black shade. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. It has a nice like light sheen to it, but it's not, it's not too much in any one direction. So I don't think it'll fight too bad but we're gonna take that on an it cosmetics brush which I don't know which one this is it must have just come with a kit of, of some sort uh, but we're gonna take that and just ever so lightly kind of stamp it on the outer V of course in the upward direction so that way we can give our eye that little lift that it so desperately needs and we're just gonna kind of lightly fluff it in there fluff it into the crease and then gently blend it in with that shimmer shade. And then I'm gonna go back in here with the BH5 brush and I'm gonna grab the shade Mind Slip, which is this one. It's almost like a, like a light kind of tangerine color. And I'm gonna run that through this outer V area and just use it to kind of blend out that deeper shade. And then for underneath of the eye, I'm gonna grab this little, it's kind of a fluffy paddle type brush. This is the Refer 02. And I'm gonna take the shade Warning right here, which again is that pink satin shade. And that is going to be what is all over the under eye right here. 
I'm just gonna run it tight to the lash line. Ooh, that's beautiful. And this brush is great for this. Oh my gosh. By the way, if you've never tried these brushes, these were sent to me, but they are so nice. Like the quality is unreal. I, I really like these brushes. I know a lot of other YouTubers talk about them as well. And uh, if I haven't echoed their sentiments enough, you guys, these brushes are fantastic. And I think just a little bit, I'm gonna take the shade Cyberpunk right here, just ever so lightly same brush on the outer portion of the eye on the lower lash line. All right, so really quickly, I'm also gonna throw on the lower line right there. I already started. This is the Fenty Fly Pencil in the shade Bad Bride. And I just think that that white is gonna complement that inner corner so nicely. Like, look at how poppy that is. My God, you guys hear the cars outside? They're so loud. And I think on the upper lash line, when I go to do mascara, I'll probably do like a black liner or something up there. But just for the lower lash line, I feel like that pops so much and it just, it works so well, not only with like the brightness of the, the pink and the purple, but also with that inner corner, having that like white green kind of flash to it. That looks really, really pretty. All right guys, so I am back and and while I was off of camera, I did go in and do some mascara, which we're gonna talk about for a second because this is the new one from Hourglass. It is their Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. And with this, I think I've used it twice now and this formula for me is a little bit, it's a little bit difficult because I ultimately, I do like it. I like what it does to my lashes. I think it applies okay. But for me, this is the type of mascara that you reach for if you are someone that wants like your lashes but better. Maybe you want them to just be a little bit longer and you're not so much looking for like the bulk and the the, the thickness to your lashes. Um, if that's you, then I definitely think this mascara will work. But for me, I'm the type that I, I tend to go for the best of both worlds. You know, I want like the lengthening and I really want the individualized lash, which I do get from this but I tend to also want like a little bit of bulk, a little bit of thickness to my lashes as well. So I think for me in a perfect world, I would probably be taking this mascara and adding in another one just, just for that like light little fill and the, the, the thickness of it. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the Ofra and Jen Loves Reviews collab. This is the Metamorphosis Lipstick Collection and I am so excited. You guys, if you saw me, okay, if you follow me over on Instagram when I received this in the mail, first of all, I want you to sound off down in the comments because... This was truly, this was just one of the best packages I've ever gotten. You guys, you guys, you guys, I am so freaking excited. Oh my word, Ofra Jen, thank you so much for sending this over. Do you guys see, do you see what that says? That says at Jen Loves Reviews collab. <gasps> Jen, congratulations! Paige, I don't know, could you find like a more unflattering angle where every 72 of your chins is out? Probably not, but that's not what this is about, guys. That's not what's important right now. What's important is these. I'm also, by the way, I'm sitting now on the asphalt. I think you should know that on a 90 degree day in Northern Michigan, um, my ass is currently on fire, okay? <laughs> We're like third degree, 98 degrees, ain't got nothing on me. It's warm all up in these butts. Okay, anyways, let's talk about lipstick, guys. I'm so freaking excited. Oh my God. Okay, guys, so I'm back inside now. Two things. Number one, my ass was fused <laughs> with the concrete because it was so hot. I was sunny side up, melted into the crevasses of that shit. No, thank you. Number one. Number two, there were bugs, so... <laughs> absolutely not had to get my ass up and come inside so now that we're in here let's go ahead and we can keep talking about it i feel like you can actually see this watch is really good in this light oh my god these colors are so good jen i am so freaking excited okay also update it came <laughs> it came with this butterfly and i've never seen one of these before now i know okay based on what i just said about bugs i'm assuming seeing how this is a rubber band okay you're gonna spin it 30 to 35 times and i'm assuming what's gonna happen is it's gonna fly away so i'm not gonna jump but i've never seen one and i want to play with one. <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> You got me good, butterfly. I think at the end of the day, it all boils down for me that it is Jen Loves Reviews collab. And I think that she is one of the sweetest, most just sincere and genuine people that we have on the platform. And to get to see her, you know, with her own collab and to, to see her her mind at work and her creating something that, you know, she, she created something that she genuinely believes is like good for people um, that can actually help them with their makeup routine that can be of use in several ways. And that I think is what excites me more than anything. Like, yes, you know, it's cool to get PR and it's cool this, that, but this is just one of those things that I think like her intentions and her heart really shines through with it. And I just, I really appreciate it. And I think it's so cool. Like, I think it's awesome again that I got it in PR, but more than anything, I just think it's awesome that like, it's so true to who she is. So anyways, we're going to be checking this out next. Now, because these are all three liquid lipsticks um, and, and Ofra's formula, it is a little bit drier on my lips. So I am going to go in and prep them with just a little bit of the 
champagne kiss. This is just the gloss. Wait a second, why didn't I just leave <laughs> the first set of lip balm on that I had? Like, I just wiped it off and then applied it again. Okay, all right, so these are the three shades in the collection that Jen came out with. There you go, I think you can see them a little bit better now. Um, we have the light shade, which is in Revive, which is the one in the dead center. It's like a nice pale pink. We have the shade Refine, which is this one. It's more of like a, a mauve like deep kind of purpley pink shade. Then we have the shade Reimagine, which is this one right here, which is more of like a, a deep chocolate, like has a little bit of warmth to it. And the overall idea with these is that you can use them, again, on their own because they are matte liquid lipsticks, just like, you know, I've used used them before. I'm going to use this one today, the shade Refine, because it's just, it's my jam. Um, but you can use them alone, or you can use them to transform other lipsticks that you already have in your collection. Um, maybe you don't like the depth of it, like it's not dark enough, or it's not light enough. Maybe you don't like the undertone, it's too blue, whatever. You can go in with these and kind of use them to adjust what you already have, and that way not only are you getting use out of this, but you're also getting use out of um, what you have so it doesn't go to waste. For those of you that don't know Jen, I will link her down below, but she she is the type of person that she doesn't talk down to you with information. She doesn't try to like come at you in that perspective. She's the type of person that will sit down next to you and discuss ingredients, talk about, you know, why this formula is good, like what's bad about it, is it worth the money? And she comes at you as an equal and she talks to you like a normal person. She doesn't she doesn't ever behave in a way that's like gives you that that condescending like I'm a beauty, you know, guru and I'm so good. Like she doesn't she's very normal. She doesn't come at you like that. And I don't know if it's just like my age, like I'm, I'm 30 years old now. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've mentioned that this week, but I'm 30. And as someone who is, you know, getting older and, and I'm changing and I'm personally kind of aging out of what would have been the normal beauty scene, it's so nice to find other people that are also like have an older mindset and they, they treat you with more respect. And it's not all about like the flashy and the ooh and the ah. It's not about that. And I just, I don't know. I love that about her. I love her personality. And guys, I really like this color too. <laughs> like this is beautiful. Well, damn. And all right, you guys, with that, the full face is on and complete. Let's go ahead and throw up the up close so that way we can both look at it together. Um, I have to say, from my perspective, it is really, really nice, very refreshing to have a full face of new makeup where everything actually does come together and look really good. Now, in terms of the products individually, I do think, you know, like I said, everything came together well. Um, and I tried to go through as I was using them and kind of give like pro con and, you know, talk about them that way. But I'll definitely keep you guys um, updated on them if I like them, if I don't. Um, after after I've used them a few more times. With that, you guys, this is officially the end of the video. Please feel free to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments, um, whether it is something that you liked, something that you didn't like, if you picked it up, you want me to check it out, whatever the case may be, please feel free to let me know down in the comments. Again, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't done so, like I said, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. And with that, I hope that you guys all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be doing, what is this? I'm just praying up to Jesus. Okay. Where is my brush? <laughs> my eye brush. You know, the one that I, don't you fall powder if you make a mess. So help my God. Okay. But seriously, where's my brush? Where is my hairbrush? Anybody? Anybody know where my brush went? Okay. So I guess it's just gone forever. That's fine. It's literally purple. So I don't know how I'm missing it, but it's definitely not here.